Okay, so here we have the sine of 3 theta. We want to rewrite it as a third degree polynomial in the variable of sine. So we want to keep in mind is we, whenever we have anything that's not sine, we want to see if we can change it into sine. So I'm going to rewrite the sine of 3 theta. 3 theta is the same thing as the sine of theta plus 2 theta, where the sine, where here's our um, some formula for um, sine of a plus b. So I have the sine of theta cosine of 2 theta plus the sine of 2 theta cosine of theta. So cosine of 2 theta, I have three different choices. I'll write them out on the side. So I have three different uh, double angle cosines I can use. Um, since I want my answer to be in terms of sine, uh, the best one I'd want to use is 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. So I have the sine of theta times 1 minus 2 sine squared theta plus sine 2 theta. There's only one for that, so that's sine theta cosine theta times the cosine of theta. I'm now going to distribute this sine and then just multiply these two here. It's really just cos times cos. So I get sine theta minus 2 sine cubed theta plus 2 sine theta cosine squared theta. Uh, again, I wanted my answer to be in terms of sine, so I'd like to change this cosine squared theta. I'd like to get rid of that and make it uh, 1 minus sine squared. So now I have the sine of theta minus 2 times sine cubed theta plus 2 times sine of theta, 1 minus sine squared theta. So I get the sine of theta minus 2 sine cubed theta plus 2 sine theta minus 2 sine cubed theta. I have like terms, and they're both 3, so I get negative 3 sine cube theta plus 3 sine theta. My mistake, that's 4. Clearly I can't add. Okay, I checked my answers as I was looking away. Good, got that. All right, all set.